It's 11 11, make a wish. Oh, so many people are gonna watch me this. Hello, welcome back. Let me move my seat back. I feel like I'm a little bit close to your. Okay, we're gonna do a little mukbang. This is so spontaneous. I did not plan to film this, but I just got like a feast from this new place that I haven't tried. And I was like, why not do a mukbang? I'm gonna take these off because they're kind of annoying me, but they really do help me see. So basically, I'm trying the. What's the spot on there? I'm wrong. They spot it on there, but I'll forgive them. Um, trying the place called Seoul. Soul or souls? Souls. Um, my friend Sam was like, oh my god, as if you haven't been there. And I was like, what do you mean? I was like, what do you mean? Like, why would I have known about it? And she told me about it. And oh, this is such a busy street. She told me about it and I was like, well, I need to try that. It's like a sandwich burger place. And I ordered three because I couldn't decide. And I was like, oh my god, there's so many people are going to watch me do this. I ordered three because I couldn't decide. And I was like, well, I need to establish like if this place is good and what my favorite is so I know what to get. You know, I wouldn't do this every time, but... Also, this is like, well, I have to make it a mukbang now, you know what I mean? And then also went to Macca's and got a chai latte and a Sprite. So, we got a chicken palm, we got a roast chook, and we got a bacon and egg with a hash. So, I'm going to try the bacon and egg first. Ovs. Um, it is like 11, but I haven't eaten breakfast yet because I had to quickly run out of the house. So, this is my brekkie. And this is why we're also filling up with three burgers because I can't be missing meals like that. Oh... My God. Wow, this looks insane. Oh. My God. No. No. It's the best thing I've ever tasted. Oh my God. Holy shit. That's the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Holy dog! Oh my god! Why is that so good? Mmm! Oh my god! Gluten free bun too, and it does not taste like it. Oh! My god, that is phenomenal. Thank god they gave me napkins, holy shit. Wow. That is unreal. I wish you guys could see this right now. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna leave her and come back to her. And I'm gonna try another one. We will answer questions, I promise. I just wanna try them all first. Let's try the roast chook. I don't know if I like this because it's, I know it's more like a sandwich, this one. And I'm not really a sandwich girl, like they kind of make me gag. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Oh wow. Okay, it kind of... This one's not cut very well. Wow, these are insane. Okay, let's try. Oh my god. Oh my god! Why does it taste so damn good? Holy moly! It's so good! I don't think I've ever tasted food this good. Okay, let's get a question cracking. Okay, someone asked F, Mary kill with the office cast. This is the best question I've ever received. And I need to track you down and find out who you are and marry you. Because this is so innovative. This is so interesting. This is what I want in my mukbang questions. I don't want star sign. I mean, I love talking about star signs. I absolutely love my star sign. But I get that question all the time. Do you know what I mean? And I said, I said on the Instagram story, I said, make them interesting. Because I'm sick of the same thing being asked. Let me just take another bite of this delicious thing. Wow. I'm taking everyone here when they come to Melbourne. Watch me finish all three. Okay, let's answer the question. First, let's open the Monopoly. In 
instant win. Small meat cafe coffee, tea or drink. Oh, I'm so going to use that. I always don't go through Macca to get a little coffee or a little Sprite. Whitechapel Road, no one cares. I'm not downloading the app. I just want free things. Instant win. Attraction pass. Nope, not going to ever use that. This old lady is watching me. Chance card. Okay, they're fun. Maybe I will download the app. Let's try this trial latte also. Oh, Macca's try always hits. Always. Always hits. Wow. Two out of two of these sandwiches have been impeccable. Okay. Let's answer the question. Mm. Okay. I'm just going to do for like the whole cast. Well, off the top of my head. Holy God. Um, I would kill, I would kill Andy. Now, Andy has his pros and his cons. Andy is, on paper, a good guy. But he's not a good guy. He's annoying. He, I really want to move because there's like a man sitting on the side of the road watching me and I just feel really uncomfortable. On paper, he's a good guy. Has he really done anything crazily wrong? No. Besides punching the wall. If you haven't seen it, sorry. There's going to be so many spoilers. But I don't like him. He's annoying, and he's a pick me, and he's just annoying. So I'd kill Andy. Love you, Andy, but hate you. Kill Andy. I would kill. Who else would I kill? I don't really, I don't really dislike that many people in the office. I would kill Angela. Now I don't hate Angela as a character. I think she's very crucial for the show, but as a person, obviously I don't like her because she's horrible. So I would kill Angela. Who else would I kill? Mm. I would kill Ryan. I don't really like Ryan, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm just gonna move. I'm just gonna very quickly drive to a random straight side street. Okay, I've moved. It's still kind of a busy street, but it's way less packed. So I was literally sitting on a main road. Okay, I'll kill Ryan. I don't like Ryan. He's funny. I love how funny Michael like makes him in his mind, but as an actual person, I don't like Ryan. He thinks he's better than everyone else, especially when he gets the corporate job. Ryan's like the typical horrible person, like underdog. As soon as he gets promoted, thinks he's better than everyone else. Then when he gets fired, he's like sucking up everyone's ass. And it's like, babe, pick a side. Try to switch up depending on what level you're at. Just be the same person all around. Then I would marry, obviously, Jim. If you follow me on TikTok, you know that I did a little like, who would you rather marry thing where you tilt your head to each person. And I got John's, John Krasinski and you could have put up Jesus and I would have picked John Krasinski. I don't care. I'm obsessed with him. I love him. Obviously, because of my obsession with the office, the way it shapes me as a person, John Krasinski is now my future husband and I will do anything. I'm sorry, Emily Blood, but I will do anything to have him. So I'd obviously marry Jim. I would love to fuck Jim, but then I guess if you're marrying them, I guess you could do both. So I'm going to marry him. I'm going to marry Dwight. Now, this is very controversial. But I do love Dwight. I think as a person, deep down, he's actually really good. I think he does some horrible things. But I feel like... I feel like I could fix him. No, I'm kidding. I'm not one of those girls. But I feel like he's actually genuinely... Like that, that scene where Pam's crying. And he's like, who, who hurt you? Like, oh! I literally just got goosebumps all over my body. Like, that scene does things to me. Um, So I think I'd marry Dwight. Because I feel like he does have really good intentions. Um, some people love Dwight. So you might be like, yeah, obviously. But some people also hate Dwight. This, the only thing about this burger place is it's very messy. Oh no. Like if you're going on a date, no. Do not go here, but it just tastes so damn good. Very messy though. But we we'll definitely marry Dwight. Michael. Mm, could I marry Michael? I love him, but could I marry him? Maybe fuck Michael. I feel like he could be like a cute fling. I feel like he'd be really respectful. I feel like he'd be very like cute and like a bit over romantic but i don't think i could marry him all respect to you love you babe but i don't think you could marry him. don't think i could marry him pam i'd marry pam i want to marry pam oscar probably fuck he like annoys me a little bit maybe kill him maybe i kill oscar he kind of annoys me he's kind of a pick me kevin kevin's a sweetheart maybe oh, i don't think i could marry kevin he's kind of annoying Maybe fuck Kevin. Maybe we'll just fuck Kevin. Who else is there? 
Put off. That's the main cost. Next question. I can't believe we took so long on that one question. So sorry. I got the little temperature thing came with my phone because you are in the sun. So I might just keep moving it every now and then. Um, but next question. Someone said thoughts on marriage. Now this is very... Let me just get this angle right. This is very topical. And I talked about in my last video, the like get ready with me, where I answered questions how I'm like very like... I don't know. I don't, I don't like to say that I'm anti-love because I'm not. I'm just anti like... I don't know. I just hate men. I don't know what it is. I'm anti-men, not anti-love. But, thoughts on marriage? I'd love to get married. I can't wait to get married. I am such a basic bitch when it comes to marriage. Can't wait to have such a fun wedding. Like, gonna be such a fun day. I have all the people I love there. Like, I just can't wait. However, do I think all marriages last? No, like, I'm not like, oh my god, they'll be the one forever, but... Obviously, if I'm very in love with them and I think they're going to be the one forever, then absolutely I'm going to get married. I can't wait. Like, it's going to be so fun. Like, I want to have kids quite early, so I'm assuming that I might have kids before I get married, which a bit topical, a bit controversial. Um, but I'm so excited. Like, can't wait. We're really having the fuck, marry, kills in this one. Someone said fuck, marry, kill, Ekansu, Jemma, and India. Now, um, I'm tossing up between whether to marry Ekan oh, Ekansu or India. I love India. She's like probably my favorite. Actually, I'm gonna marry India. Because I feel like as much as I love Ekansu, like love you, babe. Also, this is the palm one. Okay, tip of the day, don't like leave them wrapped too long because then the wrapping like sticks to the burger. This is the palm one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's open her. Oh, that is thumbnail material. Holy bolly. I'm going to marry India because I just love her. She seems like she has such a sweet soul. If Dami hurts her, I'll personally fly to the UK myself and bash him. Wow, that was a lot of anger. Does this place miss? I don't understand. That is so damn good. The crumbing of this palm, palm me, I call it. Is definitely not gluten free, so I'm not gonna eat too much of this one, but I just really wanted to try it. This gluten free bread is amazing. Like, this gluten free bread is phenomenal. I'm gonna marry India. I love India. I'll kill Dami if he hurts her. Now, at first glance, I would marry Ekansu. But, I love Ekansu, no hate. Absolutely love her, but I just don't know if she, if I could marry her. I feel like we're too different. And not in like a good way. Like I know opposites attract, but I don't know. I feel like I'm very independent and she, I feel like she's very full on and quite clingy. So I don't think that would work. Mm. So then I might have to kill Ekansu because I feel like I would want to fuck Gemma. Yeah. Oh, I don't really want to kill Ekansu though. I like Ekansu. Got some killing on a fucking Gemma. Wow, this is phenomenal. I just had three amazing burgers. But I think that's why I'm not a sandwich girl, is the bread. Because if, like, the bread goes soggy, like, I'm scarred from primary school. I never had sandwiches in primary school, but when other people would bring sandwiches to primary school and the bread would be all soggy. Oh, babe. Mm -mm. Oh, it's just making me gag. It's literally making me gag. Okay, let's get another question. Someone asked, should I move to a different city? And my first reaction is absolutely. But I guess I need more context because when I moved to a different city, it's, like, the best thing I've ever done. And I came from a very small hometown. Oh, oh yuck. But I came from a very small hometown. I definitely grew out of it. It was not good for my content. You know everyone there. Like, there's no new, like, opportunities or new people to meet. So, for me, it was the best thing I've done. And you don't have to be moving from a small place. You can be moving from anywhere. But just think about... I know I couldn't move to somewhere where I don't know anyone. And when I moved to... When I moved to States, I knew people. But I wasn't, like, really good, close friends with anyone. So, I guess it was kind of, like, good... In that sense that I kind of had like not too much security, which I feel like is good for your growth. But just think about like, is there actually opportunities for me to meet people? Like if it's for uni, absolutely move. You're going to meet so many new people. Just think about it in that way. Like I'd hate for you to be stuck and have no friends. And obviously that's going to make you grow and obviously you'll eventually find people. But just think like, is there any opportunities when I move straight away for me to actually find people? Like kind of be realistic with that. Because I feel like some people move just randomly with no like backup plan almost i don't know i am very spontaneous i'm very like fuck it just do it so my advice is gonna be fuck it just do it but i'm getting full so i wish i could buy another stomach just so i can keep eating 
I would love some more context, but all you asked is should I move to another city? And I think yes, like as long as you're like stable financially, friend wise, you know, that type of thing. Um, and maybe even if you have the opportunity to move back, then yes, because you kind of got that safety in the back of your head, like I can always go back home if something doesn't go right. Just do it. Fuck it. It'll make you go. Oh my god, there's people watching me. There's like removalists watching me. Okay, so I don't really think my username would cause so much confusion. Confusion? My username's my username is Sofa Dofa, but my name is Sophia. Um basically that was just my nickname growing up. Like my grandma and, is my camera like foggy? I'm so sorry. My mum and my grandpa would call me Sofa Dofa and like obviously my whole family as well, but they kind of made it up. Um like Sofa Dofa Nervous Gosha. That was like the long version, but obviously I'm not gonna write my username that and they would call me Dofa or Sofa Dofa. They didn't really call me Sofa ever. Like I never got Sofa. I got Sofa Dofa. But everyone's asking, oh why is your name spelt Sofa if it's pronounced Sophia? And it's like, no, my name is actually not spelt so far it's spelt Sophia. there's more people watching me someone said most overrated thing about traveling to europe i think this is such a cool question because i've never got this before oh we have so many sandwiches most overrated thing about traveling to europe i don't know about like the most overrated thing i just think like oh the big ben i'm so sorry is that europe is it london count as europe please don't laugh at me i know nothing about Germany. anyway mm, yeah it is oh uh, no it's not Please don't offer me. Anyway, we're just going to count as my last trip. What's the over, most overrated thing about the last trip? Your big, the Big Ben. Now, if there's any Londians watching this, please don't get angry at me. I just expected it to be better. We weren't even going to see it. We just checked into our hotel and we turned around. And we were like, is that the Big Ben? Because the Big Ben was right next to our hotel. And mum was like, I don't think so. And I was like, yeah, I feel like it'd be bigger and better than that. And she was like, mm, and we looked at the maps and we were right next to the Big Ben. And I understand that apparently the Big Ben is actually the bell inside of the clock tower. But whatever, we're just going to refer to it as the clock. It was so underwhelming and I was just like, oh. Like, don't tell me people travel specifically to see the Big Ben because it was so underwhelming. I think that that's pretty overrated, but also just about Europe in general. The people are quite like, I don't know. I feel like maybe they just like hate tourists, but I feel like maybe they weren't even locals. I just feel like the people in Europe were quite rude. Like I got shoulder barged. This is just from experience. I got shoulder barged so many, like violently. And I'd be like, and just be someone trying to walk past you. And I'm like, baby, you can just ask me to move out of the way. Or maybe if I noticed you, like, I would have moved. Like, Australia is just not like that. The Eiffel Tower was amazing. Paris was amazing. Like, Paris, nothing's overrated about Paris. Like, Paris is phenomenal. Like, I just felt magical when I was there. Okay, last question. Someone said, what's your advice on snake friends? Do you give second chances? And this is very interesting because this has been happening a lot to me recently. And I've been really learning, like, who people truly are. Um, and I have talked about this in my last get ready I'm such a ghoster. Like, I do believe in second chances to a point. Like, oh my god. If it's, like, something that you did wrong not to do with your personality, like, maybe, like, can't think of an example. But if you're a bad person, I will completely cut you off. Um, like, no second chance. Well, I don't know. I think, like, I don't want to be like, no, I never give second chances because I do. But it's just, like, if there is a pattern, probably after, like, this, probably after, like, the second chance, you're done. I would say actually yes i do give second chances but after like the second or third i'm like absolutely not i would never reply to you like you can text me over and over you can text me every day I don't care and yeah i say it and i'm not gonna reply to you like if you're genuinely a bad person and like oh i've just had so many experiences lately with people and i'm just like what the fuck is wrong with you like who do you think you are it's just so shit like people are so fake and i think like especially in the in the industry i hate what influencers say like the industry is so toxic but it literally is like the people people climb people clout chase people walk all over you people use you it's horrible so i'm very lucky that i've found some super close friends you know like molly sam izzy i'm not referring to any of them like i love them with my whole heart um carla all that like love them but just like other people that i haven't talked about like don't think i'm like spilling tea on people like i'm close with like these people i don't let people get close to me until i know who they truly are which is very lucky like good thing like these experiences that i'm talking about that have happened recently haven't actually been too bad because it's been like very on the surface because i haven't let them into my life yet which is amazing and i'm so glad that i've learned like learned that lesson so young is to like really like vet who people are before you let them in so like, all these experiences have been super like well not very light-hearted they're pretty shit but haven't been pretty like intense and deep because they haven't been into my life personally yet which is really good so i'm lucky in that way but um yeah some people are just really shit like really shit and if you're going through that i feel you it's draining like i'm always like no i don't care like i put up the strong facade i'm like fuck them like i'll just ghost them but deep down i'm like ow like we actually could have been really good friends well actually we couldn't have because you're a terrible person but you know when you like get your hopes up and you're like i feel like this person's really good and then you find out who they really are and then you're like oh 
all that shit. So if you're going through anything like that, I feel you. It's very mentally draining. I'm very angry. Like, I just want to smash some plates. Like, I'm just like, who do you think you are? Like, how dare you treat someone like that? I'm not even just, like, treating me bad. Like, treating my friends bad. Like, I'm just like, oh, like, fuck you. Like, you're such a grot. <laughs> No, I'm just like so angry and like this question really gets me fired up because like I've been having so many like toxic experiences lately where I'm just like Ugh. People are just so fake. That's what it is. It's fake It is so fake and I'm just not fake like I will tell you how it is But like also like I won't go after you like I have some friends that are like no Like I'm gonna respond and like tell him how he made me feel and I'm just like it's not worth it Like it's not worth my time if you do something fake or Anything to like do me wrong I won't even re reply to you like, you probably don't think I'm a bitch right now, but I'm literally just ranting because I've had so many experiences where I'm just like, oh, people are so shit recently. And I'm just so like, I'm not going to like talk to you ever again. Like, I don't, you don't, I don't owe you my time. Like, I hate people that are like, oh my God, he's so rude to me. Like, oh, she's so rude to me. Um, She's so fake. And they're like posting to her on Instagram. I'm like, babe, I'm like, who, like, no, don't sit there and be like, oh my God, they treat me so shit. Like, they're so fake, such a horrible person. Then you hang out with them. It's like, well, you're the exact same. You're fake. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like I've had a lot of that recently too, where people are like, oh my God, or like people like, I'll like share, share my experience with people and like, oh my God, that's so horrible. Like I've heard she, he or she isn't a good person. It's like dinner with uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I just ranted to you about how poorly this person treated me. And then you're out at dinner with them. Do you know what I mean? I'm just very like a loyal friend. Like if someone treats my friend bad, you're done. Like I'll give you a chance because obviously there is two sides to every story, but like I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to analyze everything you do. And as soon as you do something that I don't like, I'm not going to give you my time. So I'm very selective with who I hang out. So if you hang out with me, be honoured. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just like very savage mode right now. But like also not. Like I'm not savage because I think I'm a savage inside. Like I'll be like, oh my God, you're done in my head. But then like I will never like let you know. Like I'll never be like, I'm so upset with the way you treated me. Like, no, I'm not going to tell you. Like you're not even worth that. You're not even worth me explaining. You're not worth an explanation. That's I guess what I'm saying. So like, I'm savage mode, but more like internally. And then externally, I will, I hate confrontation. That's the thing. It's like, I will never start confrontation. One, if I'm cutting you off, I don't really need to talk to you about it anyway, because you know what I mean? Like, ah, I don't know. I'm going on such a tangent, but basically what I'm saying is I'm savage mode internally. And then externally, I hate confrontation. So I'm just like, I'm good with you. Like I'll say hi to you when we're out. Like I'll be nice to you. Like I'm not going to see you and bash you but like i'll be like hey like how you going whatever but like i'm not gonna actually not even like i remember one guy like treated my best friend like shit obviously the exes now thank god but like came up to me and he was like hey soph and i just went and walked away i was like i do not even owe you a hey like you treated my best friend like fucking garbage you're a psychopath and i will never give you that time of day so i think it's actually interesting because i think let me just like, get comfy here because it's gonna be a rant it's actually interesting because I think, like, if someone treats my friend wrong, I'm so much more savage than if they treat me wrong. Like, if someone treated me wrong and they came up to me and said, hey, I would never do that. Never. I would be like, hey, like, how you going? I'm going to be polite, but I'm not going to give you, like, too much time of day. But, like, if someone treats my friend wrong, I will not be polite. I will literally go and walk away. I don't care because I'm so protective and loyal to my friends. Holy bully. Um, but if someone treats me wrong, I'm kind of just like, no, I'm just kind of like, go with the flow like i'm like oh it's whatever like i think just because i just feel like i like deserve that in a way which i don't at all but i just like don't really think of myself that highly which is really bad and we need to work on that girls we need to work on self-esteem self-respect i have respect for myself i just don't think i have a very high self-esteem wow you guys are like my therapist right now i'm just like really airing all my dirty laundry should we start a therapy session should we just have like a big zoom <gasps> we should still have a zoom party <gasps> oh my god let's do that low-key we could all get food we could all get our comfort food and sit there and just chat and just like get out all we need to get out oh my god that could be really fun anyway that's my mukbang done and my rant done i love you all i'm going to go to the post office then go home scrub my tan off and i will see you in my next video this is so random and cute but i hope you liked it didn't really answer that many questions more just ranted about my internal struggles but i love you and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.